Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Animalica. I'm the Radio Man 03. It's awesome to have you along. We're going to try this game out. It was suggested a while ago, and I'd, uh, I just recently picked it up on the summer sale, I believe I did, which is what I did. And so I thought we'd give it a shot. July 1st, 2030. It has been five years since I was stranded out here, and almost ten years since Earth became Dr. Moore's playground of horrors. Dr. Moore. These five years I've been searching for a cure to Dr. Moore's plague, and I think I have finally made a major breakthrough. The key ingredient for the cure is in the new glowing mushrooms that have miraculously started to spawn all around the world. As excited as I am with this good news, there's also bad news. I haven't heard from my colleagues in the main base in weeks, and I'm running really low on supplies, so it's time to grab everything I can and head to our land base. With a little luck, maybe I can cure a couple of animals and gather some healthy plants on my way. Find out what happened to my colleagues, get supplies, send a few dozens of abominations back to hell, and be back for dinner. I'm going to go with the tutorial. I played this on Thursday afternoon for about an hour and a half and enjoyed it, so I thought I'd, I'd give it a whirl with you guys to see. There's just tons of stuff to pick up. There's lots of crafting. The only down tick that I can possibly see with me... Food, there we go, getting started. There's a new message, okay. Uh, we got paper on the desk here too. There's things to read. We got a book that turns into paper. So a few of the things I've done, but I'm willing to start this over again and kind of go through this as well because of, um, well, just because it's it's new to me as well. Oh, look at there. Clothes. Okay. Oh, our name is Scarlet. Let's go. To, let's go tab. This is Scarlet. We just picked up her clothes. She's wearing those. She's got her gloves. Uh, you got your health, stamina, hunger, thirst. We've been picking up food and, and drink right now. Is what we're kind of picking up. But the, the tape is nice too. There's a note here. Now, a question for you. You guys want me to read these notes to you? Or do you want me to just pause and then go ahead? Because uh, we can read them. It's, it's a storyline. There's Somebody's done something. This Dr. Morris has done something to the planet. This is a weird game. I hope this letter reaches you. I never thought I'd be writing letters back and forth. God, I miss texting. But I really can't complain because life is pretty cushy in the fortress cities, especially for us girls. I never have to do anything difficult or do heavy lifting. LOL. To tell you the truth, it's a bit suffocating. I can see why you left. But so many women died and nobody outside the fortress cities has a wife anymore. Please watch out. It's so dangerous out there. Meadows' facility was overrun, but thankfully everyone made it out alive. They had to leave behind a bunch of equipment for the raiders to trash, but saved all the computers at least. There's still lots of public support for Animalica, and everyone thinks you guys are doing something wonderful. They hope to leave the fortress city someday, see the earth like it used to be with the animals in place. Uh, hoping we guys can do it. Not to put any pressure on you or anything. LOL. I looked for all the journals and newspapers from your list and I sent everything I could find. I also included some cookies and bake for you. Take care, hon. It's dangerous world out there. So do you want me to read all of those or should I just pick it up and, and, and just kind of hold on to it and, uh, you know, let you guys pause. There we go. A little more food. And the old backpack there. I think we've done everything in this room, but we did need to talk to somebody. They sent us a letter. Let's go, Jay. Uh, getting started. Okay. Hey, Scarlet. As you probably know, the situation is getting very serious. After last year's disaster when we lost our original land base, now we've also lost contact with our new base on Nova and heard nothing from your two colleagues that were supposed to bring back news from there. The new Supreme Leader, Bale, declared that any man or creature living outside the five fortress cities is a danger to the future of mankind and will be shot on sight. Since our okay, so the wildlife this, that's what I like about this game is you're, you're trying to save the wildlife. Since our organization always opposed him and his extreme political views, we are now under a strict surveillance and we can't leave the fortress. So you will have to grab some medical supplies and some weapons and wait for new instructions. Captain Jackson is trying to find out if it is safe to land anywhere near Nova. So the wildlife is in danger. The cities are saying you see an animal come up coming up from the outside, then just kill it, just kill it right away. So we're trying to save as many as we can. Um, these are your, of course, buttons. There we go. And uh, off we go. So my coffee just made it. Oh, yeah, it's Friday afternoon, baby. I know, right? Friday afternoon. What do we got here? Empty plastic bottle and some cloth. Okay. 
I've gone through this before, but I'm going to go with you, with you guys again. There's some more tape, uh, energy drink, it looks like. Uh, what I noticed is I'm really better off taking my time. You've got all kinds of different, uh, actually, storage areas here. Am I supposed to put this on, or is it already on me? That's my gear, huh? That's on me. Okay. I think that's that's what that's telling me. Placeables, animals, valuables, miscellaneous. What's the valuables here? Old dusty book. Okay. Uh, here we go. So, there are animals, and they're infected, basically. As we found out in that one little note. What is this here? How would I use this? Uh, hot research papers. I don't know. I don't know. We'll try to figure that out. Well, let's get through here first. I found that I really needed to take my time to go through here. It's easy to miss things. I like the graphics of it, though. I like this look. I don't know what it is. It, it just, yeah, I like this look. Is that, is that, oh, no, here we go. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Some, some kind of a laboratory here. We're trying to save the world, people. We're trying to save the world. And, and this Dr. Moore says, uh, got this purple goo all over the place, and it's uh, contaminating things. And there's weird... Um, this could be helpful. Yeah, yeah, rounds. We'll take those rounds. You got that right. Uh, and so we have to try to get, to, you know, a male deer, a female deer. <laughs> Just like that. And then we're going to have to breed them. And we're going to try to, you know, of course, cleanse the planet of this uh, this, this crap this, this guy has put on here. That's our goal, people. That's our goal. Some credits. Oh, God. Forgot about that skeleton guy there. Okay, yeah, grab everything you can. We're leaving this this little area, so this is this is kind of a lengthy tutorial. I, I've been looking I, for this. Yeah, I don't. This isn't beta now. It's it's like a, a, an updated. It's the beta, so they're doing all the uh, the bug fixes and stuff like that to the game. Ah, look at here, some paint, flamethrower. This should help. Oh yeah, that'll help. Kid me, anvil. I think we need the anvil for the initial workbench. Let's go tab for our inventory. We can actually put this um, gear. We could slide this guy right down to here. And then this is our stamina. It was a stamina syringe. And this is a health, right? I think it's a health syringe. Yes. So those are our band-aids and our stamina. So far, I've not had too much issues with things. I don't know that the... Uh, the creatures are very difficult, but it is kind of fun to think about making your own, like, preserve. And then just setting up all the areas. The animals don't seem to attack each other once you um, cure them of this virus. So you don't really have to separate them. But I thought it'd be kind of cool to create some kind of a, just a, just a preserve, a nice outdoor preserve. And they kind of, they, they definitely encourage you to, um, oh, there we go, some more rounds here. Flamethrower juice, baby. Oh, there's another letter, too. Hold on. Uh, give me one second. It's a memo from Mark to Scarlet. Crazy stunts on the oil rig. It's come to my attention you've been climbing to the top of the oil rig, which is absolutely prohibited. Since you're new, you probably overlook the do not enter signs. I also heard about your 40 meter free dives, and I will. And while I can't stop you from swimming, I am telling you to bring a dive buddy if you're going to be doing stunts like that. As you know, Sanya warned me about you, and you swore to me you'd not be pulling crazy stunts. So cut it out. So apparently I'm a crazy, crazy diver. <laughs> I could swim. I could swim like the best of them. Scarlet can swim like the best. Uh, oh, this guy here is a death beacon. Uh-huh, that's right. Death beacon goes right here. That way if I die, it puts up some kind of signal, some kind of beacon, I think. It's a, I think it's a beacon. <laughs> And it's going to help me. Guide me back. Yep. Yep. Uh, I think we're good in here, too. It's, uh, yeah, we went into the room with the dog poster. It's pretty... Oh, here we go. What do we got here? 
A bow or crossbow and tranquilizer arrows are your main tools for capturing animals. Using any other type of weapon or arrows against them will kill them. Okay. While exploring the world, you will encounter numerous animals contaminated with the deadly disease that plagued the world. After you have captured and cured an animal, you can release it in a safe area in the wild or continue to care for it in your settlement, hoping that your efforts will save these species from extinction. All of them make great companions, and they will gladly assist you in your journey. That looks pretty cool. You know, I saw that as one of the screenshots, and I thought, that, that looks, looks like a kind of fun thing to put together, you know? I've seen... Oh, we got our bow here. This should help. Oh, that's going to help all right. You know about that, Scarlet. And number five. There we go. So we've got some regular arrows, and we have some tranquilizer arrow. What is that, just one arrow? It's 15. Okay, 12 of the regulars. Okay, gotcha. And then we've got our double pistols. Bam. There you see? See? Yeah. Okay. And... I think this is just kind of a balcony, but you guys can get an idea of what the water looks like and stuff. These other islands we have to we have to go to and explore to find different species of animals that need to be, uh, uh, you know, saved, rescued. It's not a difficult process. At least I didn't notice it was at the beginning here. I did a deer yesterday on my own, and that's about it. I think we're done in here. We go in here? Yeah, I did. I picked the mushrooms up and stuff. Okay, so I think we got this part done. Oh, there's some med. Medical yeah, supplies. Be helpful. That is going to be very helpful, Scarlet. You know it's true, lady. You know it's true. Well, what do we got up here? Look at this. Oh, look at that. They tuck them way up there. I see what you're doing. I think I didn't see that, huh? Duct tape. Always something you find on just the table laying around. Donuts. Oh my gosh, there's donuts too. Magazines. I think the magazines scrap into paper. We got some cloth here. What else we got in here? Oh, bottle of booze. A nice little wine bottle there. Oh, I saw some magazines. There we go. Uh, more ma oh, magazines there. Okay. The hitbox is a little weird on those guys right there, but let's see. Oh my gosh. Uh, things were quite tough for a bit. Doctors didn't know if the immune suppressing drugs would work, but I'm happy to say I'm still here and so thankful to everyone who was supportive, especially Greg. Saw the symptoms before I even figured it out. He's the one who got to the medical help soon enough. Sadly, I probably won't be leaving the city again, and I won't be going back to the lab. Breaks my heart. The doctors will probably, uh, I'll probably die if I'm exposed to any more virus. Okay, so she was here and now she had to leave because she had a medical emergency. Crack the code, it would be you. Thank you for the sharing the information with me. It's vitally important that you nail this down and get the word out. Okay, so see, we've come up with the uh, the cure for the virus. Okay, so reverse engineering of the Morris virus was brilliant. Somehow you have a knack for outthinking crazy Dr. Morris. So, you know, we're, we're pretty dang important. My advice to you is to let the other labs improve the formula since that would be a waste of your talents. Instead, I encourage you to go ahead with Project Blue since there's obviously something there. Good luck with the research. Don't take any crazy chances, you know what I mean. Fondest regards, Sonia. Hmm. Well, I'm basically a genius. I mean, I have, uh, I have cured the problem. How can... I, okay, you just walk over the table, I see. Uh, anything in here? No, nothing. Did we check this already? There's another balcony. Water looks nice. Like coconut trees and stuff. Those look really good, too. I think this looks look really good. All right, there's other stuff to find in here. I can't leave yet. I'm going to have to go through this building a couple of times for sure. Uh, I just know I will miss something. Because I'm, you know, walking and talking. It's like, you know, two different things there. I'm going to check this area. I'm going to check out everything one more time and just go through it real quick and make sure I got everything, okay? I guess I do have to put these on her. Didn't realize that. <laughs> It looked to me like she was already wearing the stuff, so I didn't realize I actually had to put those on there. So, anyways, that's out of our inventory now. That's that's kind of handy. <laughs> uh, okay, there we go. So, I guess that, oh, maybe this is defense, huh? Did that go up when I put that on there? Yeah, it sure did. Okay, that went up by five. Okay, I see. Okay. Uh, I never did that yesterday when I was trying the game out. I just, I just never did that. Okay, so we've got that taken care of. I believe, I believe I've done this. I believe I'm good to go. I think I've been through the place. 
Okay, I think we're out of here. I, th I, th I think I got everything. Uh, I think I did. Pretty sure I did. I'm pretty sure I'm good to go. Let's check this one more time right here. Nope, nothing. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. These, these tubes, test tubes are interesting. And then, yes, we're going to fly in a spaceship. Make sure you don't forget anything. Once you leave this facility, you will not be able to return. I'm going to go ahead and go. Here we go. We're out of here. Shazam. The Doberman or Doberman Pinscher is a medium breed of domestic dog that was originally developed around 1890 by a tax collector from Germany. Dobermans are known to be intelligent, alert, and tenacious, loyal companions and guard dogs. They're often stereotyped as being ferocious and aggressive. They are. I have met a couple, and they were never aggressive towards me at all. Uh, we crashed. Looks like your piloting skills are a little rusty. You have to continue your journey on foot. Follow the dirt path to continue the tutorial. You should start searching for some basic materials and build several tools and weapons to help you survive. Press tab to open inventory and click on the craft button for the in-hands crafting menu. The lock icon is used to pin a recipe on your screen. Um, it's modular building. Typically, I don't care for the modular building. But I'm going to be okay with it uh, because there's so much decorative stuff we can do. Uh, so we need to just start gathering up resources. Here is a mutated creature. I'm going to get his guts in our pocket. And the first thing of those of you who played Imperial Galactic Survival is going to hear is the sound uh, that it makes when I pick up uh, dead creatures. It's going to have that sound to it. Mushrooms. Uh, there's a ton of things to gather in the game. Just a ton of things to gather. So uh, hang out, kick back, relax. We're going to grab some stuff. All these bushes and things of that nature. They gotta come with us. It's a pretty nice world. I like it. It's got some scrap metal laying around here. I'm gonna pick this stuff up. We need some rocks and some sticks. And we'll get those in just a little bit too. Uh, I think we're good here. There's nothing that I could tell that was actually in the ship. We, uh, we barely escaped with our lives, obviously. It looks that way anyways. There's a piece of uh, wood. There's another piece of hard wood. What's this here? Oh, really? Is that a backpack? Or did it just, oh, you know what? I, bet it, I didn't see what it turned into. I wonder if it turned into cloth. I'm thinking that might be the case. There's a piece of rope, another rock. Got a rabbit over there. I'm going to grab this metal here again. Oop. And there's a piece over here again that I missed, looks like. We cannot take the skull, it doesn't look like. But there's, yeah, it's just like lots of stuff to pick up. Lots of stuff to pick up. There's a sign over here. We'll go take a look at it in just a second. And we got a graveyard here. Oh. Use an axe to cut down weathered trees. Use a pick axe to mine. Use a hammer to remove undesired or wrongly placed objects. So you get your stuff back. You gotta use a hammer. So we got a grave site here. Sad. And uh, I won't be picking from the graveyard. I probably shouldn't have touched that bush. I'll take this one here, but I'm not gonna take anything closer than that. Just be wrong. And you can see there's little islands and stuff off the shoreline. We've gotta go explore all these things to. Uh, even that one out there, you know, you've got to get to them. I think we have to swim to it, actually. Okay, that's the grave. Can we make our tools yet? Let's see if we can get a few more uh, pieces of uh, stick here. There's another rope. I think it's a tab, right? And then craft. Tools. We can do that. We could do the pick. I think that's all I'm going to do at the moment. Inventory. Let's put our hatchet down here on two. We'll put the pick on three. Uh, let's pull out the bow, number five. If you hold down Q, then you bring us up your, uh, your menu for the arrows that you're going to have. So we'll go like that.
nature. It's happening right here in front of us. That fox is after that rabbit. Oh, he got him again. We'll go follow that fox. Sounds like he hit him again. The fox will leave it, though. Oh, there it is right there. Kind of strange that he leaves it, but that you know that's okay. I'll eat it. Um, so the idea is we got to tranquilize these animals. So I probably should tranquilize him and actually take him with me. Can I do that? Q. Let's see. Let's go. Where's that tranquilizer? Electric tranquilizer arrow. Let's let's see if we can tranquilize that uh, that fox. He's after another rabbit now. I don't want to waste my shot. Oh, there's the other rabbit. We'll take his guts. We'll see if we can get that fox. Oh, there he is right there. He's stopped running for just a second. Now he's walking. Oh, now he's running again. I tell you, that guy. This is your uh, contamination. This can't be happening. Down the bottom right-hand corner, we've got a contamination meter over here, and we've got to get that to 100% on this island to clean the island up. If, if, if that's what I understand. Remember that you can only cut dead trees. Trees without leaves are fair game. So you got this for an anima anima animation. You can hold down left click. You get the full. You get the full tree sound. <laughs> the full tree sound. Uh, and I think it's wise probably to be able to just to keep doing this. I'm going to cut down whatever I see. We're going to grab a lot of resources along our way in this uh, starter tutorial here. Uh-oh. I think I used the wrong arrow. Oh, I just killed it. <laughs> I think I killed the fox. I did. Dang it. You can take your arrows back. That's a nice thing. I did not mean to kill the fox. <laughs> Should have checked my arrow before I started shooting them, huh? Oh, got a hunting knife here, skin and knife. Log. What do we got here? A, a, a box? Campfire? Fried meat. What do we do here? Um. What's my max? 18? Go ahead. Let's cook those up. All right, inventory. We got fried meat. It looks the same as the other meat. There we go. We got our hunger taken care of. Here goes our thirst. Oh, that didn't do much, did it? What was it do? It's a 30 thirst. Okay, well, that's going to have to be good enough right now. Okay, so we did a little cooking. We did a little uh, drinking there. Got ourselves stocked back up again. I should probably start breaking up some of these rocks as well. It's a nice world to come and hang out in, I can tell you that much. some kind of swampy type trees over here too I guess we're supposed to stay on the path though right with the tutorial and then once the tutorial's over I think what it is is we can come back I think we can come back here pretty sure we can come back here because the corruption is what we got to get rid of here let's break a rock so you guys can see that too Rock broken. Uh, now I know I've got some trouble coming up, so I'm going to go ahead and put this on. We can't pick up the sunflowers. You want me to use my guns? Well, here we go. Some creatures are highly dangerous beyond help and must be eliminated. Destroying the monster nests, portals, and banners will prevent constant invasions of dangerous mobs in the area. Use a flamethrower to eradicate the contaminated sites. Monster nests, portals, and banners. <clears throat> okay. 
Let's pull him out here in the light so you guys can see him. This is him right here. Mm -hmm. He's not very friendly looking, I can tell you that much. There we go. He's still there. Oh! Oh my gosh, where did he come from? <laughs> oh, you know what I bet it is? As I do that, they respawn. Another one spawns in right away. Ah! There was action. Whew. Okay. I probably should, uh... Well, that's a good way to farm them, right? That would be a great way to farm them. Anyways, we took care of that one right there. Let's grab some more resources. I don't think we have a weight limit. I think you have some, a slot limit, but you can carry a lot of stuff. Yeah, we definitely have to stay on this island for a little bit. There's a hot air balloon that I want to take in today's episode with you. Uh, so we're working our way there, but it's going to take a little bit of time. I need to do some more of this right here. Uh, chopping down of the trees and everything. There's nothing we can get off of this dead guy right here. He's... Uh, He's, he's at the, he, he, he just messed up. He just, he, he died. He's gone. We'll grab this tree right here, too. I've got another message, too, that I need to look at. Now, yesterday when I was trying this out, they have these guys right here. Now, it may, it may sound like there's a, like, we're supposed to take those out, too, but I don't see, I tried everything on them, and I just could not get it, uh, get it to give it up. Some gold coins. It won't break. It doesn't burn either. But I can see. Your flamethrower overheats, so you gotta be careful of that. But see, I don't, I don't see it. it. It should be dead by now, so I don't see what that is. And then you can't do anything really with these skulls either. So I don't think they matter. <laughs> I, I don't know. That's that's what I think. I think they don't matter. Oh, azaleas. Now the plants you need them for, I, I, I realize that there, there's a lot of crafting stations in the game coming up. Lots of crafting stations. Come on. There we go. So, um, there's a lot of different things we can craft. We'll get into it. I just, I just noticed it. And, I mean, you guys could look this up and see what it's all about, too. But, uh, yeah, it, it seems interesting. It's, it's unusual. It's a lot of different genres, I think, of games that are all mixed into one here. It's kind of, it's different for sure. I'm just going to keep gathering these resources. I think we've got better tools coming up in this uh, area soon. More stuff. Another anvil. Trash. Pallets for scrap. Okay, turning to scrap of wood. We've got some more scrap metal. Looks like we take the gas can, so I'm, I'm going to assume that there, we've got some vehicles going on here. Uh-oh, what's happened to you? Looking bad. He's looking dead. He's looking very dead. Uh-oh, press E to read. Day 85 and still no tomatoes. <laughs> okay. Uh, we got some uh, basic craft of thread and cloth. Inventory. I, I got so much inventory space. We got a sleeping bag. That's good. I, I, I guess we could sleep the nights away, which is nice. Okay, past the night. We can we can actually sleep right here. I wonder if that's... What? You will need to craft in place a bed or a sleeping bag. Okay, so we got the sleeping bag. That's good. We could sleep our first night away from that and then try to get a bed. Oh, look at this. I could fill my water up, huh? Oh, look at this. Oh my gosh, there we go. We got some delicious drinking water. I didn't know that was there. I missed that the first time. Oh, the old boom box from the 80s. Look at there. Yeah, my friend had one of those. <laughs> he did. And uh, smash the barrel. And we got uh, carrots, seven carrots. It just drops into your inventory down below. 
Oh, looks like Giovanni. Uh, I want to check out behind the building here real quick. What do we got there? Some metal scraps, some nails, some bolts. You can uh, sell items through these recycle bins and make money that way. I don't know what we have more of or not, so I'm taking everything. Oh, there's a sad little dog here that's uh, that's hurt. We're probably going to take him with us. There's another toolbox. Serious muscle car with some uh, rough and tough looking <laughs> blades on it. For some slicing and dicing. We get everything in here. Looks like we did. Oh, wait right here. Cloth. Yesterday when I took that off that wall, I thought I had picked up... <laughs> um, hold on. Hold E to pick up the sick dog. I will hold E. Terrible. It is terrible. Poor dog. Scared. All alone. Oh, there's a little kitty too. Let's grab that little kitty cat. Basket, cloth. The little kitty cat's kind of funny. We'll stick to the mainland here. I think, um... Oh, we got some cows up here. I bet those would be good to knock out. Especially if we got a bull. Yeah. I bet if we've got a nice bull up here. And, uh... A heifer. Marigold. Oh, marigold. Look at that. Look at those look at those cows. Those would be handy to have, right? I guess that's uh, something where you want to get the milk. Oh wait, that's not the right arrow. I keep switching my arrows on me. Why is that? Oh, 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 oh. Horse, something on a horse. Oh, you made me miss. Man, they really run. Oh. These are the mutated people and stuff. Oh, what the heck, man? He's still running. Um, I need to backtrack a little bit. He got away. I'm going to have to think about that. That did not work out very well. And we ran right past our horse, which I have not read the note for. That's what the next uh, uh, conversation is here. We'll get, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. I just got, you know, cows in my head. I thought, yeah, I got, I got to be some cows. Fine, Chrome. Task completed. We didn't even read it. So sorry, guys. Um, travel to Nova. Okay, he was telling us. Back at the main base, he comes up and he says, hey, you should go out in the ship now if you're ready and we'll, we'll bring you to Nova. And then she's telling us to go find Chrome, her horse, which we have. And I can't do it. This poor dog. He's, he's got the infection on him. I feel bad for him. Oh, jeez. Why does he keep switching my arrows back? Why does it do that? I want to know that. Now I killed that little dog. <laughs> Just horrible. So that's our horse. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Look at this. Oh, look at this. Okay, that's good. We got our uh, better hatchet. We're on the farm now, people. We're at the farm. Oh, man, I killed that poor little hot dog. Little wiener dog. I feel awful about that. Oh, there's a rabbit. Oh, it's too much. They run really fast. I'm going to have to come up with a plan for this stuff. That's what I'm going to have to do. This should make like a hot knife through butter, right?
Looks a little bit. It's a little faster. Definitely uses less stamina. Whoa. Did you see that? <laughs> Eight corn. Oh, I like this. See, they show us the water pump. There is a water pump here. Do I have it? I don't have any of these, do I? Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't have it. Yeah, this is a water pump. We'll be able to put one of those on the property along with the well. Uh, owning a basic workshop will enable the construction of most of the crafting stations. You should start building one soon as you find a suitable location for your settlement. There are over 20 crafting stations in Anamalika, each of them unlocking numerous specific recipes. Over 20 crafting stations. To avoid glitches, try to build on flat ground. An island like Slice Land or Arpashi, it's perfect for starting a large settlement as it offers a large amount of flat open space. So I think Slice Land or Arpashi is where we'll go and then... Uh, since it's my first kind of go around and try at this, we can see, you know, what we uh, what we come up with. Ooh, shotgun shells. Nice. What do we got in here? Oh, really? Shotgun, huh? Oh, I like that. That's nice. I like that a lot. Oh, matches. Okay, that makes sense. Got a dead guy laying here. Did those candles come on because the sun started going down? That's creepy. It's a ghost. It's a ghost, I tell you. I missed the shotgun last time I was in here. Some hide. Okay, here's the workshop. Let's see, basic workshop. Uh, if it's in green, we can make it. So that's what we got right there. Let me take a sip of my coffee here. Um, Apocalyptic Blade does 14 damage. What do you do? 2, 11, 12, 14, 10, the Machete 12. So this is the best weapon right now. Is that what I'm seeing? Uh, okay, I'm going to go ahead and craft it, I guess. Oh, look at the tools, too. Scrap axe. I think we just saw that, right? Did we see that? The bone breaker. There's the bone breaker. Look at that guy. Oh, that's the hammer. Oh, really? Oh, I see. Well, that scrap axe looks pretty cool. It does eight damage. What is the one that we have? What does this one do? Four. So it does twice as much damage. Now, what about ours that we have in our hand? What does it say? Uh, damage 7. Okay, so it's not as good as what we could make uh, when it comes to tools. We could make this axe and have just a little bit more damage coming on. Let's try that. I'm just really curious about this. This is a pickaxe, right? We used for mining. Okay, let's, let's go ahead and make that one too. What's the shaver? <laughs> what is this thing? It's an improvised weapon. It looks like a weapon. The shaver. Wow, it's brutal looking. And we just picked up this other new stuff. So I wonder what we could do is we could probably go back and sell these items um, to that box back there. If that makes sense to you guys. Number six. Let me see number six. Holy crap. Holy cow. I'm not sure how to go into uh, first person. Look at there. The sun's arising. Mm -hmm. It's bound to be a beautiful day on Animalica. We'll get some more of this filth cleaned up. Had to refill my coffee. <laughs> I mean, come on. Priorities, right? Uh, it's getting brighter, but it's not very bright. Chrome. I like the name. I like it. Look at all these hillsides and stuff, too, that you got to go up and take a look at. Well, 
Yeah, that, that area cleansed, we have to get that to uh, zero. 100%, I mean, 100%, not zero. Let's check out our new axe. Oh, look at there. We probably can't see it too well. We'll, we'll take a look at it. Look at that. Oh, man. That made quick work out of that tree. Now, I don't think I can get him to follow me. But the animals, you can. We're good to kind of jump off every now and again and kind of scope out these areas. There's a dead tree right here. It's not hitting it. There we go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten swings. I think it was like uh, 12, 13 before. Something like that. There's a few more. We got some kind of mech right here. What does this say? It's the ICT 516. That's what it is. And these guys don't have a damage bar, so I'm thinking that they don't. Now, the game originally, I guess, did not have a damage bar, so that is one of the improvements they've made on the game. Um, like I said, I believe this was recommended to me a while ago. It's, I think the game is about five years old right now, and it's in beta right now. Oh, look at here. We've been looking for these things. Hey. Oh, I see. We're hitting two of them. Oh, there's two of them here. I see. Rope. Look at this. A, a cave. Okay, those blue mushrooms, they said that those were important, right? Jewelry this box. Get you some good money. Oh, that'll get you some good money. Here's some bones. Apparently, throughout the game, there is a the full skeleton for a T-Rex that you can build. Which would be pretty cool. Oh, look at this here. We got our new pick out. Man. We didn't even use the steel one. Oh, I should have checked to see who's got the better damage. This one or the one we found behind the uh, workshop. Uh, let's see. Back to gear. This one does 8 damage. And this one, I believe, was... Yeah, this is 12. So this is much better. We, sh we should try to sell those other things, maybe. That's probably what I should have done. Now let's see what it says I get. I've got so much stuff in my inventory right now. Green shard, one. A green shard. Uh, we got another one of these things over here that looks like it's an infection, but it's just a couple of mushrooms and stuff, and they're really cool, and I think they're supposed to light the area up in, at night when you're traveling, so you can, you know, see where you're going. Is this a... Oh, here, wait a second. We gotta get these guys. Azalea. 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 Yeah, we got to get this tree here. Oh, look at that sweet axe already. God dang it, man. That's a cool-looking axe. I like that. It's like a big old saw blade. <laughs> Welded to metal. Bolted together. Yeah, it looks good. That's a good-looking weapon. Let's take out the pick again. You can't really see it. There's our shotgun. We've not used this yet. We're going to need to, though. We've got corruption coming up, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, Chrome, you hang out right there, buddy. Okay, so we need to, uh, like I said, we need to fix the animals. Oh, what do we got here? That's a stun gun. I'll put you up there. Look at that. A stun gun. Oh, my God. Um... Looks like we got tranquilizer darts for a tranquilizer gun. I don't know. Tranquilizer darts. Okay. Okay. There we go. That is a tranquilizer gun. Much better than the bow, I'd say, for that uh, that kind of fighting. So I'm going to go ahead and put that down here. We'll take the bow off the hot bar altogether and use it later, I guess. Uh, oh, what? what? Send the bad news. What? What? Jay, let's take a look. We've been missing these. Very tragic news indeed. The worst that could happen just happened, but we can't stop now. Not when the entire planet depends on us and you especially. Until we're able to provide you with more consistent help, it's up to you alone to continue our conservation efforts. Me and me alone now. I cured, I, I came up with the cure 
and now I have to deal with all of it myself. And offer them a safe place to live and breed. We gotta go get all those animals. While exploring Nova, search for a working transportation method because I'm not sure that Nova Island alone has all the resources required for our ambitions. You should start by traveling to our land base and recover anything useful still left there. The land base. We got one of these goons up here. Maybe we should use our, our blade on him and see what happens. See if we survive this. Eh. Oh, he's got he's got a big stick too. <laughs> he takes a okay. That blade didn't do anything to him. I didn't like the blade. <laughs> he was hitting me. How's my health? Uh, he do he knocked me down half my health. Let's go to consumables. Let's see. Small first aid kit. What does it give me? Plus fifty. Let's use it. This should help. Little mouse wheel. There we go. I picked up a baseball bat off that dude. What's going on here? Hey, wake up. We'll open the cage. Well, we got some more goods out here too. Mushrooms. Some medicinal herbs and stuff. There's an ammo crate. Beautiful, more rounds. Love that. Almost rode right past here without stopping, getting this stuff. What about this guy back here? No, he's not pickable. Okay, so I think it's time to kind of go in. Uh, we'll bring uh, we'll bring uh, Chrome here up a little bit. We'll have Chrome hang out right here. There we go. Let's go put this out. Now, at first, I thought I had to burn these weeds off, but they don't seem to burn off. I don't know if it goes away after time or what, but it, it doesn't seem to burn off. Uh, rock? Sure, I'll pick up that rock. What do we got here? Some arrows. Nice. I'll take those. See, there's a lot of... Look, you see all the stuff I have to pick up? It's amazing. Now, the fruit trees, I don't think, give you fruit. I, I thought that was kind of weird, but they don't. They, they look beautiful. I love fruit trees. They look great. Pallet for our scrap lumber. Got some beautiful berries. Look at that. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. They did a nice job with the um, the graphics of the game, I think. And it's not so difficult that it's going to take me forever to play it, you know? It's not that difficult. I was messing around with that guy. Otherwise, you know, if... if I think three bullets to the head from the, the, the double pistols. We'll put that guy down. Yeah. We got food troughs here. More rope. Oh, look at here. Uh, let's try our stun gun out. Gotcha. I'm gonna pick up that there sheep. There we go. Get some domestic wildlife in our pocket, right? I don't know what happened to those cows. We'll keep our eyes open for them too. I like that gun. I'm not quite sure if I was using it right, but I like it. Any trouble in here? Back to the shotgun. Uh, straw bales. Oh, okay. Fertile soil. Nice. Nails. Slate stash. Fertile soil. It's got a little bit of a seven days to die vibe to it right here, coming in the barn like this and grabbing stuff, you know, building resources and whatnot. There's some corn. Oh, some onions. All right, onions and corn. There's cooking pots and stuff, so we're going to have to get to, you know, you have to figure out how to cook. Uh, speaking of cooking, I should probably check my food. Let's grab all this stuff up. 
Uh, we don't know what I need and what I don't need, so I'm going to grab everything, I think, that I, you know, don't miss. What do we got here? Strawberries? What? Dog Rose? Oh, look at this place, huh? Oh, that is cool. There's the hot air balloon. We got to go through all these buildings still. It's just a ton of content in just the. This is the tutorial. We got we got crud out there. We've got crud in here. We got a dead scientist right there. Got splattered all over the ground. Oh, there's the cow right there. It's still running too. Must remember me. Oh. Nice. There we go. There we go. Got us a cow, people. Cow, brown and white. Where's that bull at now? Cows are worth it. For some reason, I think we got to have milk. <laughs> I wonder where he went to. See, that's just it. Now that we have her, we have to get him. And I'm not quite sure where he would have gone to. I think we can come out here, right? Cucumbers. Look at this. There's all kinds of crazy stuff up here. Let's go up here further. I bet we could ride our horse up here all the way too. Yeah, there's a whole place up here. Look at the size of those turbines out there. Look at the size of this place. This is just one island too, people. Oh, look at that. They got like a replica of this design over there just laid out on the ground. Weird. That's kind of weird. <laughs> but there it is. Looks just like this one, the layout anyways. But uh, the graphics are pretty fun. It's, it's very easy. It's just kind of fun to be in here. I didn't get to show you any of the animal stuff, though. Really the taming. We've got animals on us. Oh, you know what? I think I can though if I if I clear this place out relatively quick I think we'd be okay we could do it I have to be careful I don't want to uh, plunge down the hill there we go there we go before get over shotgun nice What do we get? Gold coin, crowbar, and a corrupted heart. A corrupted heart. Yeah. Oh, that's glass. I don't think I can do that. Oh, by using an air balloon, you can travel to different locations of the world. Air balloons are marked with an orange marker on the radar. Hmm. I guess we do have a radar. Upper left-hand corner there. Oh, I see. Look at that. It looks just like the balloon there. I don't know what... Th is that other marker there? Is that... Is that... I think that's uh, chrome over there. That that's what's telling me there. Uh, we need to get rid of these barrels. This stuff is the... Uh, this is the... This is... This is no good. Dr. Morse was here and he left... Uh, left the... The goo behind. <laughs> Can't have the goo laying around. I don't want to take the I don't want to take that yet. We gotta clear this out first. Let's get some more of this goo out of here. Uh oh. There we go. Take some rounds to put him down. I thought I was fully reloaded. See he only put one in there. I guess I'm down to that now, aren't I? Pick up the garbage, you know. What's with the garbage thing? Uh, let's go with the pistols this time on this guy down here. So I can like sell his sledgehammer and stuff, can't I? I wonder if you could smelt them down. 
Oh, there's a trap. I'm trying to just clear out the area. There's another dead scientist. It's funny how none of them have hair. Something, something was going on here. Careful what you eat. Uh-oh. What? Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Careful what you... Oh, really? <laughs> I, did, I didn't mean to. I really am not trying to rush along here. I'm trying to let you guys experience the whole uh, thing with me here. I swear to you. What have we got in here? we got some nice pens, that's for sure. Oh, nice cow stalls, huh? Sheep? Yeah, it would be nice for sheep. There's, um... There's different items that you find that can, like, um... Like, benefits your animals. Like these... I think these bushes inside here. Uh, is, let's see. What is this? Elderberry. No, these are elderberries. This is the white one. Never mind. Uh, it's not this. They're... Oh, what are they called? They, like, help the animal enjoy its life better. Um, I'm trying to think of the word they use for that. It's just slipping my mind. But um, it's it's pretty cool that you could put that stuff in with the animals, and it's supposed to, you know, just help them feel better about everything. But we don't want to use this one. I would rather make my own, to be honest with you. What's running around over there? Oh, those are butterflies over there. I thought something was running from far, far away, but it was not that. Uh, this pool of water is really cool. I think I showed you that in the beginning picture. We can actually um, do something like this. And we can create our own um, sanctuary for animals. With paths and, you know, decorations and plants and trees and flowers and all kinds of things. This guy has got a huge, huge claw <laughs> coming right through him. Well, he was fighting back. He broke the whole horn off. Jeez. Brutal. Just brutal. We got another one of those stink barrels over here. Let's go get it. Oh, there's a deer, too. Well, I'm going to hold on to my rounds with this here. Oh, I need to go to one. And this right here reminds me so much of Imperion Galactic Survival. <laughs> that plant right there. It's funny. It looks very much like it. Just checking to see if there's anything else I can pick up. We've got a bunch of deer over here. This is interesting. Okay, so there's a buck. I see a buck right there. Yeah, he's got antlers. So when we need some deer, this is good. Okay, we we'll have to remember this uh, right here where the balloon is. I, I believe all we do is we get in the balloon and then there's, uh, there's like a... I don't know. There's a cinematic. I've not done it yet. But I kind of wanted to in today's first episode. Uh, what do we have here? We've got a big old dead animal. Oh, oh no, you know what? That must be the one I shot earlier. Did it just run this far and then pass out? Oh my god, that's hilarious. <laughs> okay, we got ourselves the cow. I did not know that. Yeah, I think the videos I've been seeing, people aren't playing with the grass on. Uh, I imagine it probably helps with the frames and stuff, huh? I don't seem to be having too much problem with it, though. Well, let's grab this tree. I'm going to grab this stuff in this immediate area. I'll bring you back if something exciting happens, and after that, we're going to be setting off in that, bo that balloon. Slice land is clean. Okay, it's telling us to go to Slice land. It's ready for habitation. It's ready. It's nice and flat, a perfect build site. Left the shed alone. Okay, so there's a shed there already. The white building, it looks like, with the red roof there. We cleaned it up a bit, but didn't fix anything. It still lacks a door and windows, but it's quite livable in that warm climate. We're heading home and should be back by Wednesday the 5th. Regards, Ari. Well, they're not going to make it back, so that's where we're going to go. That's where we're headed. We're he what was the place called? Slice land? Slice land. Okay. Slice land. That's where we're going to be heading. I thought there was a... Let's check around here real quick. I need to check on something. Ah, by using the medical bay in the laboratory, you can treat any of the animals you've captured. After the animal has been cured and tamed, you can place it 
in is his enclosure to do so drag okay so this is this is where i can go i can come right now and i can actually heal uh our our, pe our pets the animals that we have captured so far uh, we've killed some accidentally and i mean accidentally chemistry table there it is So we're going to need a chemistry table. That's another thing we need. Uh, I guess we can come and use this one whenever we need to. Arrows. Yes, of course it could, Scarlet. This could be helpful. There's some cure potions. Taming potion. Browns. What is that right there? First aid kits. Medium ones. Oh, this is the jackpot right here. I guess they told me to come to this base, huh? And then grab what we could. Uh, okay, here we go. Uh, this is the tranquilizer, animal tranquilizer, the recipe to it, uh, which you will get um, when you go to the correct bench for it anyways. Oh, here's one of those dinosaur bones I was telling you about. This is dinosaur bone. Point. Boom, got it. So, the medical bay, I believe... Uh, what do we have? We have... Uh, no, we don't have deer. We have a sheep. We're in a sheep. So I could do I could do this one. Um, don't I have a dog? Horses. Where are the dogs at? Oh, there they are. Here he is. Here he is. Let's cure that guy. Beautiful. He's our friend now. I bet I'll have him follow me around too. Yeah, we'll call him Rascal. He's perfect. He's black and white. Um... Where else was I, guys? Uh, we had... There was some... Oh, here's the cattle right here. Holstein cattle. Okay, ash high cow, brown and white. Okay, there's our bull. And that's our female. Uh-oh. Both are female. Hmm. Well, uh, I still want to cure it. And then we got this guy right here. Okay, so we need a bowl. Oh, they look very different. I see. Okay. I was judging it by the horns, but yeah. Now I notice they've got udders. <laughs> okay. And he was allowed to try to tame animals. Uh, there's our sheep. There we go. Look at that happy little sheep. There you go. Bam. Okay, we got that one cured. The, the, the cat is not sick. So I should be able to set these animals down now. Uh, I can put them right here and show them to you guys. Uh, let's go over here where it's a little bit clearer. And we'll chop this tree down. There's a whole kind of resources i got to grab here, too. I guess what I should do is build myself a little workstation and set it up somewhere and then scavenge the island. Or do I go ahead and go through the hot air balloon, go to that place, Slice Land, and get it set up there... And then we come back and forth, but take our goods over there. We have a different place that we're building in. Because I feel like I might as well get started right away. So our workshop will go up, and then we'll get a house set up, and we'll have cooking and everything there. And we'll just continue to add on to that place uh, as we progress. I don't know what traveling's like, so we're going to have to give that a shot. Dog Rose. Okay, so we got... See the stones and everything? You really got to be on your horse. It's almost like Outlaws of the Old West, too, where you kind of, sometimes you got to ride a little bit to get to your next batch of resources. Like, there's there's something poisonous out there. Yeah. Yeah, there's something bad out there, right there. It needs to die. We got a building over there. This place is huge, this first island. It's amazingly huge, I think. Can I pick this up? Look at that, plant fiber. Plant fiber. Holy cow. Awesome. Yeah, just so much stuff. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call the first episode there, guys. I'll probably record a couple more of these over the weekend and uh, work on Valheim as well. Pick up the trash, though. Get it out of here. You know, that's just cleaning up the world. You're cleaning up the world. Uh, and then we've got... Uh, you guys could probably, you know, continue to... If you pick up the game, uh, let me know that you're interested in watching me play. And uh, I would love to keep playing because I think it's pretty cool so far. I'm having a pretty good time with... Uh, this little game called Animalica that's not very tiny at all. I did say we were going to take a balloon ride, didn't I? As part of this. Yeah, we were in here too. I think I've cleaned these out. 
Let's see our... You know what? Let's do it. Let's go take a balloon ride. I think that's what we're supposed to do next, right? New. After you find a suitable place for a base, build yourself a basic workshop. It will work wonders for your progress to have your own little workshop area close to where you live. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna take this balloon and we're going to go to Slice Land. Ooh, that was cannabis. And we're going to go to... Uh, get uh, we'll get something set up in the next episode so let's go ahead and fly there and then we'll land and then uh, we'll take a quick look as to where we're gonna put our place oh look at all this garbage here so much uh, so much stuff it's so easy to miss stuff uh, oh here's the land base that's what they told us to go huh I guess we don't have to, do we? Slice land. Here we go. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Look at me flying away, my beautiful balloon. Oh, man. That's pretty awesome. Oh, I was wondering if it was actually going to show me the whole flight. Oh, I have a fox, too, in my inventory, don't I? I totally forgot about the fox. And I was going to set the animals down. Jeez. Oh, there's another dog here, too. Oh, he's sick. He's sick. Oh, he was sick. You see that? He, he was going to come after me. He truly was going to come after me. Uh, okay, that was a good thing I pulled that gun out. So, here's the shack, huh? We're going to have to take the dog back and get him uh, get him all fixed up. I can't forget I got dog. Wow, look at this. we got like a set place set up. We could throw a few things in here. Okay, so this is where... It's the idea that, you know, this game is going to be more about exploring for me than it is the building. There is a certain way you want to lay your buildings out, but you can see we have a lot of space to play with. You know that? There's a, look at all this space. This is created just so you can do whatever you want to do with it. A zoo, preserve, whatever it may be. But instead of, um, like, I've always been interested in that zoo tycoon and, and those kinds of games, but... It's, I don't know, it'd be nice if we could build it ourselves. And in this area, I feel like this game, we could we have that possibility of building it ourselves and then putting those animals in to our, um, you know, habitats. We can't dig or anything like that, but we can, I, I believe, build habitats. All the animals are peaceful, but it would be nice to be able to do something like that. I guess I better heal this dog too, huh? Jeez. I feel bad for these, oh. We got another horse here? Oh no, look at this! Oh my god, is that... That's Ghost! What? Ghost? Who's this over here? Slicey? God, can I change the name? Give it, give me so I can change the name. I think I've got a boat too, right? So I could travel to different locations as well? Oh, here's our water. So I... God, what do I do with um, Chrome when I leave Chrome behind like that? Does he just stand there? Holy cow. This is a lot of space. I feel like I'm going to have to take a horse go for a ride although this is where this is going to drop us off so why would we want to be too far from this right yeah we're going to want to be on this too holy cow there's our sale thing where we could sell stuff so these are the things that we can sell right now and I don't know why I'd sell any of them right now. What is this? Mutated DNA sample. Really? Huh.
Yeah, no, I'm going to keep everything I've got right now, but I, I think what we could do is we could utilize this uh, this here cabin to get ourselves kind of uh, ready to go, you know? God, I hope there's doors. Oh, we need to get that workshop built. You know what? I've, I've got to call an episode. I've been going forever. Literally going forever. <laughs> uh, I hope you enjoyed it. That's our first one. Don't forget, we can go back to where we just were. We don't. We can, we can go back there. We just can't go back to that original... Uh, whatever call you want to call it, that base, that original base we first landed at. We can't go back to that one, but we can go back to uh, Nova. I guess that's, is that Nova? Yeah, go back to Nova. Uh, anyways, yeah, pretty cool. I'm, I'm, I'm liking it so much. I'm liking it so far. I am. I am. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button for me, comment, subscribe, and share on the Radio Man 03. Have an awesome, a fantastic, and a superb day, and I look forward to talking to you again next time.